We begin with breaking news in Dallas, Texas, where at least five police officers were killed when they were ambushed by at least two snipers. The shooting began near the end of a protest over the fatal police shootings of black men in Louisiana and Minnesota. Six other officers and a civilian were injured. Police are questioning at least three alleged suspects, and Manuel Bajorquez is in downtown Dallas. Manuel, what is the latest? Well, Anne Marie, some breaking news now. We're learning that the fourth suspect, a man who was holed up inside a parking garage not too far from where we are, has now died of a self inflicted gunshot wound. He had apparently been exchanging gunfire with officers, but we're learning that he has now died from a self inflicted gunshot wound. As you mentioned, the gunfire erupted in downtown Dallas with no warning, turning this place into a war zone and still very much resembling one right now. Officials saying the intent of the shooters was to kill as many officers as possible. What was a peaceful protest by about 800 people turned into chaos. Demonstrators, marching not far from City Hall, ran for their lives as dozens of shots rang out. I was screaming, run, 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 active shooter, active shooter, run, run, run. Police say this was a coordinated attack. At least two snipers from elevated positions as the protest rally march ended, uh, began firing upon our officers, ambush style. As the gunfire rang out, police used their patrol cars for cover as they moved in to help wounded officers. We believe that uh, these suspects were uh, positioning themselves in a way to triangulate on these officers from do two different perches. Uh, in garages in the downtown area and planned uh, to injure and kill as many law enforcement officers as they could. The search for the gunmen moved through downtown from buildings to restaurants, businesses and hotels. Several of the wounded are in critical condition. One of the suspects is a woman taken into custody at the same garage where the shooting began. Two others were grabbed during a traffic stop after they threw a suspicious package out the window. I ask everybody to focus on one thing right now, and that is our Dallas police officers, their families, those that are deceased, those that are in the hospital, fighting for their lives. Downtown Dallas, still very much an active crime scene. That's because that final suspect, who apparently has shot himself now, did tell police the end is near and that there were bombs scattered throughout the city. So police still trying to clear all of this up right now. Four of the fallen officers are with the Dallas Police Department. One, Anne Marie, was with Dallas Area Rapid Transit. Um, Manuel, in the video there, you can hear the gunfire quite loud. I know that you were just blocks away. What did you hear and what did you see? I can tell you that uh, I live not too far from here. From my balcony, I could see the protesters. This was during the peaceful part of the march. Uh, several hundreds of them just marching. And then just a few minutes later, what I heard was one police car after another. And it wasn't just crowd control. It was very clear that this was something else. That's when I went downstairs and immediately started trying to see what was going on. And we were learning that several shots were fired, what witnesses have described as a barrage of fire, what sounded like a war zone. And at that point, police were still very much not only trying to tend to the wounded officers, but trying to do crowd control, trying to get people to safety. They kept moving the perimeter back more and more when they engaged with that one suspect that was still holed up in the garage who apparently made additional threats and continued to exchange fire with officers. At this point, as we understand it, that uh, suspect has killed himself, uh, but the situation is still very fluid here in downtown Dallas. Yeah, just a, a massive crime scene there. Manuel Bojorquez in Dallas. Thank you so much, Manuel.